Hi ladies, it's Betsy Carnes here. I'm just dropping in, just kind of relaxing today to talk about our oh-so-favorite topic of recruiting. I wanted to just chill and relax as I talk about this because that's what needs to happen when we're recruiting. You need to sit back, you need to relax, you need to be natural, and you just need to let it flow out, the love of Jamberry. I think sometimes we get worked up and we get tense that someone is going to feel like we're pressuring them or we don't know what to say or it's awkward to try to get someone to sell Jamberry with you. And I just have a few tips on what has been um, some successful ways for me to recruit a team and I just want to share this with you. First of all, like I just said, be natural. I am not forced. I find the opportunity in the circumstance that I'm in, and when it comes up, I just share. You know, if someone's like, oh, so cute, I love your nails, I'm like, oh, they're Jamberry. I sell them. Have you ever heard of Jamberry? No, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, it's been so fun. And I just go for it, okay? Insert 30 second commercial. Okay, they're not going to be annoyed if you share 30 seconds about what Jamberry is and why you love it. Okay, so what is the product? Yeah, these adorable heat-activated nail wraps. Um, I just started selling them online in November of 2013, kind of on a whim. How did you start? I had a six-week-old, and I just thought, hey, I might as well try. What was my why then? Hey, if I can make an extra couple hundred dollars a month, I thought that'd be super fun, and I love them anyways. Okay, then it turned into being um, really successful. And the best part is, is that I can do it as a stay-at-home mom. I'm a work-at-home mom. And so I have two kids. I'm at home. I work part-time hours. I make a full-time income now. And it's so fun. Hey, if this sounds interesting to you, let me know. What do you think? Okay, something like that. And then leave it out. Be like, hey. It's not always for everyone, but that's okay. But hey, think about it. And if this sounds fun or something you'd want to try out, I can totally guide you along and help you out. So when you present it in a way that offers a way out but appeals to something that they might want, the best part is I work from home. The best part is I do fundraisers every month and can donate to organizations that I didn't really feel like I had money to give to but always wanted to before. Um, what's the best part for you? The best part is I support my little jam addiction. I basically get these for free. But the best part is I get to, I never have to pay for groceries, you know, with our other allotted budget. So what is the best part for you? And that's what you share at the end. And you just make it natural. And in the back of your mind, you have to know. You can't take no personally. And they're not rejecting you. They're rejecting Jamberry. And that's okay. This isn't for everyone. And so when they're like, no, no thanks, you're like, okay, totally cool. Brush off. And then you change the topic and start talking about something else again. So it's very seamless and smooth. Because you never know. They may come back later and be like, hey, so I was thinking about that, and then maybe I would like some more information. Or you can leave the conversation with, hey, if you'd like some more information, just, you know, to read up about a little bit, I could email you. No pressure. That's always a great way to leave that conversation. Okay, so that's kind of how I do my recruiting talk. Now, um, and, I, and I, I want you to know, I love, personally, I love the Jam Bear Nail Wraps, but I love the opportunity more for some of the reasons I just stated. But I love that I can work from home. I love that I can work from online. I love that I can do some home parties and get out and about a couple times a month. Um, and I love that I can make a full-time income with a part-time job, and it can keep growing every single month, theoretically. Okay, I don't have to show up to a job nine to five and make the same amount and I'm stuck there and there's no room for increase ever. Some of us are in jobs like that and, and that's great. You may be loving that job and that is awesome. I'm not um, trying to harp on that, but I'm just saying the potential for growth in this opportunity and in this company is still outstanding. And that is part of the reason why I love Jamberry and why I will always share it with everyone. And that's what I want to say. I share the Jamberry opportunity with everyone one time. If they don't want it, 
they are not interested, then that's okay. They move on. But I feel like you never know who would love this. You never know who would be the next person that would just jump on in, and this would be life-changing for them. They really need that grocery money every month, and they want to sell these, and they love it. So I just want to encourage you to share this with everyone you know, your cousins, your sisters, your friends, your extended friend circle, and, um, and make it real and make an effort to share with everybody one time. And then I don't say anything else because they heard, they know, they're adults, they can figure it out, they know where I'm at, they got my number or my Facebook. Um, and then also, one of the most um, easiest ways to recruit is actually recruiting your hostess. Why? They like the product, they want to get some for free, they're enthusiastic enough to partner in to help sell them so that they can get something out of it. And so always, one or two days before the party, um, I say, okay, you're getting your party all set up, but hey, I just wanted to let you know, if this sounds like something you might want to do and you want to make the money off your friends and family instead of me plus the rewards, you could always sell Jamberry. I do it from home. I give a like, quick little blurb and a message or an email in an email to my hostess about um, my little story, not a whole long thing, and just say, hey, if this is interest, if this sounds interesting to you, I can definitely send you some more information. But if not, let's get your party rocking and earn you some great rewards. Okay, so there's no pressure there. They can just be like, no thanks, I'm super excited just to host. Great, that's a win. But many of the girls on my team, and you know who you are, you joined and you were a hostess for me. And that's happened with a lot of us on this team. So always present it to your hostess. Even if you really need the PRV, because that leads into the next point, is building a team is going to make you leaps and bounds more money in this company than you're going to make just on your personal sales. I don't even know the calculation right now, but it is definitely a larger, way larger amount that I make on my team, on my sales, and from building that team and supporting my team than I do just on meeting my at least $700 PRV each month. My goal is $1,200, but um, even from $1,200, my, my um, personal sales, my personal commissions, I make much more on a team. And so I want you to think big picture. Maybe this is your first day as a Jamboree consultant, and you're just trying to figure out how to host your party. And that is awesome. But I want something in the back of your mind to, to if this is like, yeah, I would love to make, you know, $400 a month. Or, yes, wildly, up to $30,000 to $50,000 to $100,000 a month. There are women in this company that I personally know and talk to that make that kind of money. Okay, and then there's many who fall in the 2000 to 10000 or 2000 to even 5000 range every month. That's what they're bringing home. That is a great income. But the reason they're bringing that home is because early on, they just saw the big picture and they thought, okay, let me build a team. So, I mean, if you get a team of five recruits and they each get you know, five recruits, or they each get two recruits, you're going to see your paychecks are really increased. So I just want to give you vision that this is something where you're like, I really would like to make more money. You have to keep recruiting. You have to build a team. And it doesn't have to be scary. You're just sharing the love of this product that we all have. You believe in this amazing company that supports us, that has our back, that is ever growing, is staying with the trends, and is always making things better. And that is is what you're sharing with people. And there's a there's a there's a no and there's an out for everyone. And you'll have to keep recruiting because 30% of our team, after a year, ends up sticking and staying and working the business. And that's just in any direct sales company. Um, that's those are the statistics. And so sometimes people join and it's not really for them or they fizzle out or whatever. But you always keep recruiting. I'm still recruiting. I still want to keep a team growing. I still want to share this with people. I love seeing my new recruits be like, yay, I paid for my join kit. I made my money back and I made 50 extra dollars this month. That is awesome. And you have to celebrate that and know that that could mean a whole lot for someone that's right around your corner today. So just always be looking and willing and ready to share your jam love.
And so that's how I recruit. And I hope you guys have a great, great Wednesday. Keep on jamming.